whole concert, lad. What? You will, bud. Hey, Max. Wicked dance. Thanks. Forget, girl. He's Roxanne's. Oh, man. Oh, I just heard about you and Roxanne. Oh, God. <laughs> see, see, I told you our plan would work. Max. Max. Hey, knock it off. Max. 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 You're gonna be gone more than a month. Drop me a line. But Max, this isn't just my vacation. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy. Oh, Donald Duck? No, silly. With you. <laughs> Are you okay, Maxie? <coughs> what, what did you say? That's right. A vacation, son. We'll spend some real quality time together. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, got a present for you. No, that's not <laughs> You look just like I did at your age. Please don't say that, Dad. Wait, I saved the best for last. <laughs> it's been handed down from goof to goof to goof. And now, it's yours, son. A stick? No, silly. A fishing pole. Fishing? We're going fishing? Yup, just like my dad and me did. Two best buddies fishing on the way destiny. Away from it all. I don't want to be away from it all, Dad. I like it all. Hey, look, Maxie, we're using the same map me and my dad used. We'll take the same route and make the same stops and see the same sights. Uh, what that trip would take weeks, Dad? Exactly. Getting there's half the fun. Put the map away, it's not gonna happen. Careful, son. You will wrinkle my pants. <laughs> and our future. What the map says, Max. We will follow. That's very mystical and everything, Dad, but uh, seriously, there's this party. I have to oh, go to see it. There's plenty of time for parties when you're older, Maxie. Why, when I was your age, I'd never even been invited to a party. Look at me now. Great, Dad. What about well, Maxie? Mm. Ladies and gents, it's Cyberland coming back to you with another animation film. A goofy movie. So I remember I had no interest in watching the movie at, at first, but I did like the song Tevin Campbell did for it. I remember I kept seeing it pop up on the Disney Channel occasionally. I was just like, I really like this song, Eye to Eye. It's, really not, it's a really badass song. I really liked it. I still like it to this day. And at some point, I was just like, you know what? Let me just check out the movie. And lo and behold, <coughs> I was um, grandparents' home when I was able to see it. 
No, no. A friend around the corner had the movie Let Me Borrow It, so I watched it a bunch of times, and that's when I really became a fan. Um, so the film was about uh, Max, who's in high school. He's a lot older than uh, the, the Goof Trip, and he has this interest in a girl named uh, Roxanne, really interested in her, and um, tries to impress her, and it goes, it goes wrong, but then at the same time it works out for him, and he, you know, is going to go out on a date, but then his dad gets a call from the school saying his, his that Max is a delinquent, he's in a bunch of trouble, which was a bunch of bullshit, and honestly, I think Max and... Uh, I think there should have been a scene where Goofy had should have called called the principal out on his bullshit because he was lying. He didn't tell the truth because this whole situation really um, with Goofy trying to <laughs> take Max on a trip was for Bonnie, but he was really concerned that Max was going the wrong way in life when he wasn't. And uh, they should have been able to bond over just hanging as opposed to there's an issue. So there should have been, I felt like there should have been a scene where Goofy had went back to that school and had a talk with the principal until the next time you want to jump to conclusions, uh, how about you give me all the facts first before giving your opinion? But needless, you know, neither here nor there. So Max is, is really concerned that he's going to grow up to be like his dad, you know, and look like his dad, and he doesn't want to, and uh, at the same time... Max is, is, you know, still somewhat finding himself, but I, you know, about who he's meant to be to an extent, at least trying to get through high school. And then Roxanne's the other thing. <coughs> so, um, you know, he tells her that, uh, that they're going, they're going to go to the concert, even though that the reality is he's, um, he's going on a, a trip with his dad and he but he doesn't want to miss out his chance with her and makes up a fib and so you know through the trip at some point Max tries to find a way to get them to the concert and eventually things work itself out um, but nonetheless the film overall was good Mickey and Donald had a cameo um, the film I enjoyed it it would have been nice if um Pete's son had a lot more time in the film. And the interesting thing is, I um, uh, Pete was married in the show, but then in the movie, the wife and daughter don't exist. So I'm kind of like, did they exist and they got divorced? And, you know, the son stayed with the dad and the girl, went, the daughter went with the mom? Or I just, you know, it would have been nice if they... they uh, had it just maybe they went on a trip or I don't know just should have incorporated them into the into the movie because it you know well anyway um as far as the the story itself it was pretty good not anything I didn't really like about it except you know uh, Pit, uh, Pete's uh, son I forget his name should have been had more time in the film. With, with Max because they were like, you know, they were a group, you know, they were, they were best buds. <laughs> and uh, music was cool because it was like actual, uh, outside of the one song Goofy was singing, which was kind of like, okay. It was kind of funny though when Max was altering the lyrics. But um, the main songs that were, were sung was, uh, well, that song and a song that Goofy and Max sang together, which was tolerable, but I, it wasn't like, oh, just loved her so I only liked the Tevin Campbell songs to be honest with you those songs were great um and that was it you know overall I didn't there was a couple scenes that were a little bit funny you know for animation for me but nonetheless it was just an adventure film it, it wasn't any violence any well outside of the Bigfoot scene but it was just kind of uh yeah just a just an adventure film with slash like comedy in it now, the last thing I would say is, uh, well, besides I'm reading, give it a 9 out of 10 yes sirs. Definitely check it out if you've never seen it. You, you might enjoy it. It's definitely a good film to watch with the kids, too. Um, but the last thing, and, and this is something I've always wondered. You know, Max doesn't want to be like his dad. 
<laughs> but at the same time, the one thing that fans of Goofy have always wondered, including myself, is what happened to Max's mom? Did she leave? Did she die? Did she pass away? And for Max to, to really want to be with like he's really digging Roxanne, it makes me wonder, does the, the fruit not fall too far from the tree? So, is it possible that Max, um, that Roxanne looked, looked very similar to Goofy's wife? Because you know how they sometimes say, like, boys, you know, that have a good relationship end up marrying, have a, a semi-good relationship end up marrying somebody like their mother? And uh, females end up somewhat marrying somebody like their father, I guess you could say. So it makes me wonder, does Roxanne kind of resemble um, what Max's mo mother looked like? Because we never, I can't recall any pictures of her, per se, that, I, that I've ever found. I've always been curious about that. And it's just something to think about. I mean, it's not a focal point of the film. It's just something that I was just, I'm just sharing with you guys watching. It's something that... Mm -hmm that popped up in my head. I was always curious about that. Um, nonetheless, the film was great. And uh, check it out. I think you think you would enjoy it. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.